Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the APA Academy and we are up against somebody taking over uh, a team here. We are up against the New York Yampers and it's going to be a really interesting matchup. So I built this team uh, quite a bit ago and uh, the night that I was meant to have this match, uh, the person ended up dropping. So like I said, I've had this team for a little bit now and I don't entirely remember all of my own sets, but uh, we're going to go with it. Right, so we do see an Inteleon, a uh, Kinkelder, Lapras, Toxicity, Arcanine, and Corviknight. So, right off the bat, uh, no Charizard, no Bear Tick, no Trevenant, which is interesting. I believe Trevenant gave me a little bit of an issue. Um, no Mudsdale, no Mudsdale is really interesting, and no Gardevoir. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what does that mean that I would want to lead off with? I mean, honestly, my go-to lead is generally the Rotom Heat. Uh, Inteleon makes sense here as well. My Galarian Rapidash is meant as, like, a dedicated switch into the Kinkelder. Um, mm. Yeah, I think I want to just do this. As basic as it may feel right now, I guess this is what I want to do. Honestly, um, so Volley made sense as well. So this is the second consecutive week that I'm facing a G-Max uh, Toxicity. But you know what? This is this is going to be the one in the other um, draft pool. But actually, um, the person that I faced last week ended up dropping G-Max Toxicity. As well as um, another mon that I'm going to have to look into trying to pick up but it does lead off with the Italian which leaves me in a pretty not great spot although here's the thing right I think he has a an incredibly free u-turn here which I don't like at all but a spec snipe shot is also really bad for me so I don't know man I think, no, I think I have to make the safer play and just go into this guy. Even if he does U-turn, I think I can deal with it. Um, his best U-turn target would be the Conkelder, and if that's the case, then I go into uh, Rapidash. I think, I think, ultimately, I'll be okay. I'm not doing great, but uh, Inteleon was definitely not something that I thought that he would want to lead off with, and it, obviously, it's my worst lead-up match, my worst lead matchup here. Um, does go for the Snipe Shot. Uh, we'll get to gauge some damage here. Uh, doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. But, yeah, I think he saw just from Team Preview just how... How... Water weak I am. And I really do not do great against a lot of offensive water types. But, yeah, Snipe Shot. Uh, this assumes Specs. Yeah, this thing is not Specs, but it is reasonably offensive. And I really honestly want to double here. But I probably shouldn't. This thing could just Ice Beam me. Let me just check up on Ice Beam damage here. Uh, It looks like Drampa... Oh man, Ice Beam, yeah, destroys me. I think... I think I want to go into my own Inteleon. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because I think if any uh, worst case scenario, he just hard switches out into uh, so I mean, maybe spec. I don't know. It doesn't make a whole ton of sense for him to want to be specs, but this does allow me to go into this thing. Uh, I don't think I have to fear the Lapras a whole heck of a lot. And if the Lapras does want to come in, I mean, yeah, if the Lapras does want to come in, I can always just U-turn out on it. I'll just click Surf. I I mean, I really did want to click U-turn there, but does it just withdraw? Do we see the Lapras? That, yeah, okay. That's fair, that's fair. Um, yeah, I don't think I mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just click U-turn here. Now... I'm trying to think. I mean, once his Lapras is gone, Inteleon has a really interesting time here, but I really do need the Inteleon for things like the Arcanine. 
Um, and yeah, he has two water types against, a, against again, a very water weak team. Um, can potentially be clicking freeze dry right now. I think my play is always to go into Rotom here. And I don't see a reason why he would want to click Surf on this turn or Hydro Pump. But regardless, goes for a Toxic. Yeah, that, that's a totally fair play as well. This is a really free Volt Switch here. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, there's nothing that would really deter me from wanting to Volt Switch here. And... It does put me in a really, it, it, it would put me in a really awkward position if he chooses to stay in, but at the same time, I really don't think, I, I mean, I think if he does stay in, that, that that damage would be super important, and I can kind of maneuver around a little bit at that point. So, I'm okay with it. My Rotom getting toxic, I don't think is the biggest of deals. Um, I would honestly have to remind myself what this a Rotom build is kind of looking like oh it's 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 a it's a more specially defensive Rotom, uh, probably to try to take hits from something like a it does withdraw F to try to take hits from something like an Arcanine. I don't know what that is. That is okay. Okay, okay, okay. So from here, actually, man. I'm super curious as to what kind of... It, it could just be max HP can Kelder. Yeah, it's definitely at least max HP. For Volt Switch 2, that was actually, that's actually probably AV. Which actually just makes me want to go into this thing. Uh, judging based off that Volt Switch damage. Can Kelder looks AV as heck to me. Mm, it could no, it could just be regular max HP. Regardless, I think play rough is just a super solid play here. Although I could go for the volt or er, the wild charge, assuming that the uh, Corvinet would want. I really want to make that play. I really, really want to make that play right now. I think I have to. I think I have to. Does withdraw? Do we see the? Do we see the Corvinet? I think. I don't know what that is. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but... Oh, that is very defensive. And I'm very not offensive, but uh, even then, that is next to nothing. Yeah, that is... Yeah, that is very, very bulky, but what would this thing want to do right now? Uh, high horsepower is not going to matter a whole heck of a lot. But I can go into. I mean, I kind of want to go into Drampa here. I kind of want to go in a, out in a Drampa here. Drampa getting a free hit off on something is huge. Although it does invite in the Kinkelder, which is AV, which is really problematic for me right now. Um, I could also just go into this thing. Getting a multi attack off. Well, no, this thing is so defensive. I don't think it really matters. Let me just uh, see something. Actually, Mudsdale is also reasonably free. Mudsdale is also... Yeah, I'm going to go into Mudsdale. Savali so doesn't have a good enough matchup yet. Uh, this Arcanine is going to have to take a very decent amount of chip for um, this really to work out for me just in general. It does go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, I believe I have Body Press, so I don't think it's going to matter all um the most right now but it is definitely unfortunate and the possibility of, of, of will was def definitely did make me want to um was really what was making me think about wanting to go out in a drampa regardless uh rocks right now would be huge also toxic would be interesting here no it just invites in corviknight i think uh i think rocks right here would be pretty important um it does invite in inteleon if the Intellion does come in, I think I attack something, honestly. Lapras comes in instead, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What do I really need Mudsdale to do here? I don't think Mudsdale does much. I don't think Mudsdale does much. Honestly, Mudsdale was kind of the sixth mon on this, um, in the building process. 
So would I give this up for Toxic? I mean, I probably would. I probably. I mean, if I can get it off, I don't even know um, how well I take a single hit. Although I could just get the damage off with Rock Slide. I'm, I am burned, so Toxic is probably better for me here. And then um, once I go down. I can Volt Switch, as long as I have some damage on this thing. Uh, does the Hydro Pump mean it? No, I'm just super water weak. I had to be water weak again. Okay, avoid... Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's, that's generally how these things go. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I could do. I mean, I guess I can go into Inteleon, but I don't think that matters a whole of a lot. Especially, you know... I can... Yeah, I think... Ultimately, Ro Rotom Volt Switch... Wow, he gave me a free Rotom Switch, and potentially. I don't think there's ever a situation where I would just go into... Well, I guess I guess he thought that I could maybe want to make a Drample play, but that's... That feels loose to me. I don't know. Regardless... Um, I can Volt Switch. He might predict that go for another Freeze Dry as I go into Drampa. Um, but that's if he stays in. I don't think he... He might not stay in. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do in life. Let's just let, let me get the Volt Switch off. That does next to no damage. Which is really problematic. It honestly makes me want to go into... No, I think, yeah. Honestly, I think, I, uh, I don't think this Dramp is going to do a whole heck of a lot other than potentially switching a water move, but uh, regardless, I need a lot of damage on this Labyrinth. But I need a lot of damage on a lot of things. So this this, this whole endeavor is looking really um, dubious for me right now. I could drop a Draco, right? No, I, no, I don't have Draco on this set. Um... I could probably roost up, right? No. Um. Let me think. Do I do I even do more with energy ball than anything else? I don't know. Let's see. Trampa, trampa, trampa. Uh, I do slightly more with Energy Ball, but not a whole lot more. Um, Freeze Dry just straight up KOs me, so there's no use in trying to roost up here. Um, Hyper Voice covers any switches, so I guess it's fine. But regardless, it doesn't... Oof, I really should have just gone for the Energy Ball. Just go, just go for the Freeze Dry. Actually, the fact that it is so defensive maybe means it. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, and I really, yeah, I don't think a Thunderbolt takes it out based off the Volt Switch damage, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, yeah, if anything, I could just do this. It, I mean, it's not going to look pretty, but I'm, but I'm going to take this thing down eventually. It's definitely not going to look pretty. And... Depending on how much damage this thing does, I can also potentially Morning Sun up on this thing. Just to keep myself a little bit healthy. But it's not going to look pretty. <laughs> Any potential switches? He, he, he doesn't have a ground type. Uh, despite the fact that the wild charge is super obvious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a super water weak team, and I, and I just struggle against Lapras. But... I no longer have the Drampa to, to, to rely on. I can... Yeah, I can just go into Rotom again. Uh, I, I, I'm really never in a position to to just eat up a Will-O-Wisp. But... Um, Rotom is kind of always going to be the play here and I guess I can try to well okay so when the Lapras comes in it's going to be worn down with rocks so that's kind of a saving grace but it's not a good one it's definitely not a good one uh, I did 
Uh, I did EV this thing to be faster than no speed Arcanine. Um, but even then, I'm probably still going to have to try to take a hit from this thing. Uh, Flare Blitz did a lot of damage. But if I can get some kind of momentum going with, oh, with Volt Switch, I think realistically I would have to Volt Switch into Inteleon and try to... I mean, from there, I guess I try to... What's for the extreme speed? That just gives me a little bit more... That just gives me a little bit more on the... Momentum game. I... Yeah, okay. Actually, from here... No, from here I can do this. Yeah, from here I can do this. But I don't have the parting shot because, um, because the Corviknight is super obvious at this point. Although I guess I can Thunderbolt. Well, no, I think I Flamethrower with Thunderbolt. Yeah, I Flamethrower. I can do that. I can just click Parting Shot as well. Parting Shot. Yeah, I'm going to Parting Shot here. I'm gonna party shot here. I don't think he would ever. <sighs> wow. Okay. That's super interesting because, I mean, multi attack does a lot of damage. Although now I did reveal that I'm slower, which means that that on this next interaction he can always just kind of um, he can always just kind of uh, willow as me next time. Although, now we're here. Uh, he definitely doesn't want to take a Surf, but I don't want to invite in the Lapras. And I really honestly just want to click U-Turn, but I think Dark Pulse is overall going to be the better play here. Uh, I am a little bit behind on the timer situation. If I can take out the Lapras, and that would free up Inteleon quite a bit. And I think through Rocks, um, two, at, at the very least, two Dark Pulse, two Shadow Balls should, should, should be able to do it. But ideally, one does it. Okay, it looks like one just did it. Nope, it, it it's it just stayed on. Okay, so once this thing goes down, hmm, what can I do? I don't think U-turning is ever the play because no matter what I go into, Inteleon just kind of just kind of eats my lunch from there. I'm gonna click Shadow Ball. I have to figure out what I want to do, what I can do. Do I even beat Inteleon anymore? I don't think I do. I think now it has to be Galarian Rapidash's job, and it's already kind of got its hands full with with Kinkelder, and Kinkelder's AV is heck, so, uh, I guess. I guess. Uh, it makes. It makes it more difficult for me to be able to to take on Kinkelder with my Inteleon. With my Inteleon being able to um being able to air slash it. So I don't think that's gonna be a possibility anymore. And yeah, I just have to figure out some way to kind of manage that. The toxicity is gonna come in. It's honestly probably just gonna wanna G Max and Max strike me, I think. I'd be really surprised if it wants to just go for. It could be going for a shift gear since it didn't want to G Max on this turn. It could just want to shift gear. I don't know. Boom Burst would be pretty awful. Um. But I really don't have any other counterplay. Like, I, like I can just legitimately lose, lo legitimately lose to this thing if it just looks Boom Burst here. Uh, just go for the ship. Okay, okay, that is best case scenario. That is best case scenario. Now I am specially defensive, so if this thing is super physically offensive, then I mean, then it loses out on any kind of punk rock boosts. But um, even if this thing does just G Max, yeah, I I think the most common, I I think the most um, the most intuitive situation for me. For him would be to uh, to G Max and 
max strike off of boom burst, but uh, I'm gonna take that super duper well if it just if it's just a regular raw max strike off of boom burst, and I can click multi attack just like yeah max strike off of boom burst, and then just like last week, um, just like last week I take the max strike and I always 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 KO with multi attack. Um, so yeah, that's one huge, huge threat that I don't have to de deal with anymore. Um, but yeah, so how do I manage this now? Oh, so, uh, so yeah, honestly, okay, so here's, here's the thing, right? If he, if he had just gone for a raw boom burst without shift, without clicking shift gear, then I think my, my Sovali gets to it KO'd. And then I have no answers to Toxicity. And then later, if it finds a turn to shift gear up, then I think I'm done. But um, the fact that it took that turn and then it lost its Punk Rock boost by Gigantamaxing, I think that kind of made it so that um, I always 1v1'd it. I still don't have any answers to it, any answers to Inteleon. I'm going to have to hope that... Uh, I mean, Mystic Hydra Rob would be kind of ideal here. I think I missed a move earlier. I missed a Toxic. Um, just go for a Snipe Shot. So not even going for the Hydro Pump on this turn. Uh, that's still a lot of damage. So I can hope that I... No, I, I, I can't take... I literally cannot take a hit. And I literally just lose to this thing. I literally just lose to this thing now. I don't have anything else. Uh, I've taken too much damage on too many po Pokemon to be able to manage this thing anymore. Wish for a second snipe shot. It can't miss. Because, like, again, my Rotom could potentially take a hit, I think. But then... Um, but then... I'm no longer in a position to... This could be Scarfed, actually. I don't think this thing has switched up moves at all, I don't think. So Scarf is a super live possibility here. Um. Yeah. I don't think this can KO, but if it did KO, I mean, that would obviously be huge. Um. Let me think this through. Well, now can Keldra beats me, actually. Yeah, I think I have to let this thing go down. I think I have to let this thing go down. So now... I mean, my only saving grace is if... Is if... Silvali can take a snipe shot. Which, uh, I don't think it ever can. But I mean, the fact that this thing is... The fact that this thing is scarfed has to mean something for me. It has to mean something for me. But I don't think it means enough for me to be meaningful. And I'm losing, and I'm definitely losing on the, on the timer quite, by quite a bit. Uh, nope. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. I, I really can't, could not deal with this Inteleon. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. I once yeah i was i was just with two water week this this week and um my water resists were not were never great they were never great i guess hmm, i guess what i should have done i mean i i mean i in retrospect i, I probably should have definitely brought um gym g max grim snarl i think that would have that would have at least allowed me to get up a light screen and kind of deal with some with certain mons but, yeah, overall, again, the fact that my best water resist was my Drampa and and that it gets royally hecked up by by Lapras uh, just made it really difficult for me. I, I, I don't think I could have managed um, those threats any better. I, do, uh, I think I'm going to have to definitely make some team changes. Um, I have been looking into uh, a, a couple of team changes because, again, my team is so water weak and because... Um, I, I saw certain mons dropped, but I don't think they're going to be able to go into effect until week four, which is super um, not ideal for me, but we're going to manage it. 
thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon with more weeks of the ap academy as well as uh closing out the ubl season uh we're gonna be in a situation where if we win we will be in uh in, in the playoffs pretty convincingly we will be continuing our ncp nimbus wi-fi run but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be once again out